Um, I think that's the scary part, is that I don't want to ever feel that I could have done something more. And so it's scary that I, I don't know. Um, we have a, a, when she was first diagnosed, um, we were counseled to have a DNR for her. And reluctantly, I did it, and I put it in her draw and never told anybody about it. And it sat there for 11 years. And then um, this past doctor's visit, her neurologist said, you know, inform me that because her scoliosis is so bad that if they were to do chest compressions, it would cause more harm for her and more suffering. And that um, I should consider take dusting off the DNR and taking it out. And I said, oh, okay, I'll think about it. And then at her pediatrician appointment, she also brought it up. So reluctantly, I did dust it off. And um, I have it now in her room, should I need to show someone for it. I waited some time before I told Jessica. Did I tell you yet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I waited some time um, before I told her. Um, I didn't want to make Jessica sad. And it doesn't mean that I'm ready to give up on Rachel. But it means that I'm prepared to not let, allow Rachel to suffer. And, you know, and as Jessica mentioned, we have a, a fabulous relationship where we are open and honest with each other and are able to share our feelings and um, go with that. So it's tough to, to, be, to talk about end-of-life issues and preparedness, but it's part of what we have to go through.